Previously on Final Fantasy 16. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? Oh. No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Oh, I'm so happy I did that one. I gotta give that to you, Denzi. I definitely gotta give that to you. Calling ATL Atlanta, like... <laughs> because I was over here, oh, you know, ATL, ATL, active time lore. And you're like, Atlanta? What type of Atlanta shenanigans is going on? Uh-uh. Wait, did I make up my own slang term? Wait, Jack, you don't know what ATL is? Because I know ATL from this game. There's ATL from this. But there's ATL that people said is Atlanta. Yeah, 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 see, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. No, I didn't make up that slang at all. I promise you, I did not make it up at all. Um, yeah, this one. Oh, we got, okay, so I got a letter, maybe more, and a trophy case I gotta take a look at. We might check out Tombs in a little bit too, see if he's got any extra lore. I just want to probably read these unless there's new ones. About the other day. Oh, from Otto. I'll have you know I ain't never shed a tear in front of no one, not even my mother. And you won't soon catch me doing the like again. So if it is, so if it please your lordship, we can both forget about the whole dang thing. The Sid I chose to follow all of them years ago is gone, and there ain't no dragging him back from the depths of whatever hell he's talked his way into. But his legacy that lives on in you and everyone else here at the hideaway, sure as the sky is blue, at least. I think it is still blue. And as long as it is, I'll be right here where you can count on me. Aw, thanks Otto. Oh, so that's from doing the, uh, that one quest. So you would not get that if you didn't do that one quest where it talks about uh, Sid with the cup and all that. That's pretty neat. Oh, okay, so you do know about it, but you're not too familiar with the 16. Well, 16 is the Active Time Lore. ATL. <laughs> yeah, Active Time Lore, ATL up top. Wait, did I not read this? Mithril Engines. Technology designed to propel the Hideaway's flagship, the Enterprise, across the seas at uh, heretofore uh, inconceivable speeds. It is not fueled by magic, but by mithril, a hard inert uh, substance refined from the deadland soil. Inert that is uh, unless burnt at blistering temperatures, whence it releases all the energy stored within, for which reason cooling is required in the form of three-piece thermal displacement stack. That was a little mouthful. Okay, what do we got? Okay, this. Sid's Goblet. Oh, I'm covering it. Hold on. I gotta move my cam. Okay, Sid's Goblet. Miraculously undamaged in the attack on the old hideaway, Otto held onto the featureless clay cup to remind him of his lost friend. And before giving it to Clive, knowing that Sid would have wanted the proud bearer of his legacy to have it. Oh, oh. We miss you, Sid. We miss you, man. At least I do. Yep. As they come in, I'm reading some of them and all that. I try to not interrupt the flow of the cutscenes and all that, but I at least try to read. I try to read some of them as we go, you know? And there's some pretty good juicy lore in some of these things, so it's good to try to Take a look at it while you can. 
How good it is to see you, Clive. I don't Did I get any levels? This particular oh. chapter before. I did. Oh. You wish to study the tomes? I thought I leveled up. The Free Cities of Canvir. Huh. A foundation of neighboring independent city states located to the southeast of Dalmechian Republic. While originally part of Dalmechia, the cities achieved their independence in the year 857, hoping to step away from the Republic's eternal struggles and focus instead on the commerce upon which their prosperity has been built. Political power currently resides with a council of guildmasters, prominent Cavarians, traders, and craftspeople, the lack of a dominant or a mother crystal to covet, along with his considerable financial resources, allows Convair to retain both its independence and naturally in the face of considerable turmoil elsewhere. As such, it lacks a standing army, the defense of its walls having been regulated to a small yet well-trained city guard. Oh, interesting. We haven't got that before. The Enterprise, a hideaway's mithril engine powered flagship designed by the father and daughter team, Sadolphus and Midol, Midol, Midol? Talaman. The ship is currently under construction in a hidden cove on the outskirts of Convir. Oh, I didn't know they were having it at Convert. Okay. The Kingdom of Walud, sole surviving nation in Ash. Walud has its capital at Stone here. Uh, Drake Spain, ruled over Barnabas, dominant Odin, Warden of Darkness, who has somehow managed to bring the hordes of marauding beastmen that once plagued his lands to heal and persuaded them to direct their aggression at his enemies instead. Oh, interesting. He's able to do that. These bloodthirsty forces have been deployed as far afield as Drake's Fang in the Dalmachian Republic. Yeah, we know about that. Ash, the third continent, or more likely the second one, considering the first one is no longer here. Though uh, slightly smaller than her sister to the west, the eastern continent of Valicia is markedly more... What is that? Altitudis? Her lightly wooded shores guarded on all sides by nigh unscalable cliffs, having been ravaged by the blight still more grievously than storm. The, the Kingdom of Walud is now her sole remaining nation. Hmm. Oh, the brand removal thing. Does this really take damage on them or something? The painstaking process of slicing away the bearer's brand so that no mark remains. Tarya, the hideaway's physiker, uh, physiker has mastered the, pretty, uh, the procedure, though it still entails a good deal of pain and of risk. Indeed, the brand is written in poison ink that any attempt to remove it should result in death. Right, we figured that out from the side quest. Given this, many choose to forego the process, even though their brand uh, precludes them from ever leaving the hideaway. Hmm, that's certainly true. I know there's so many more entries and all that, but uh, I just want to find like the the good stuff. Oh, they got lore on Iron Giants. Iron Giants, oversized suits of armor animated by lost fallen magics. Uh, just. Uh, deceptively swift despite their size, they wield both sword and shield skillfully and effectively, while the otherworldly plate which surrounds their vulnerable cores provide them with a nigh impenetrable defense. Yeah, there's Iron Giants for you. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Alright, well we might take a look at more of those later. Right now, let's just try to finish off the rest of the hunts and we can progress on story I gotta go look at the board real quick again I know that the S rank one I know where that one is she was building a ship just based off of previews and all that and plus I think we found it a, a while back ago in another playthrough okay you know what is he gonna say did you know that every forward step you take, Kubo, every crystal cracked, every friend made, every enemy failed, 
The Curse Breakers are expanding their operations too. Which means more bearers being freed and more slavers being punished. But it also means more ballots for the board, Kubo. Okay. Alright, so where is this at? Abandoned village in the fields of Corvora. In Dalmachia. Okay. So it's near an abandoned village. Hmm. And we know where this one is. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the Hornets ones first. Let me go to Dalmachia real quick. Avora. 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 No. The Fields of Kovora. Okay. So it's somewhere out here. Would it be better if I just... You know what? Let me progress with the story. Because I might end up going in that direction anyways. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finished sending half the Idaway tropes in across the twins, as she... I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I hmm. might still be able to catch her. Hmm, so she went on on her own. Is that the thing Tom's helped a bit? Who's this? Oh. Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? Mm -hmm. But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. Sounds no, important. Do, uncle. Right. Sounds very important. My dear boy, the journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the continents of the, his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings on in the free cities by which I've learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Okay. Though I, for one, believe Miss Talaman's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Carvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted and if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two. That he might keep a watch on those who might me mean our little fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle. Hmm, okay. Oh. Trouble. Interesting. Uh, well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. Gav, you got work to do. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, don't be so hard on her. 
Got to admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. Sweet. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Interesting. Gav is going to be joining us. All right, well, let's go. What the heck is Mid doing? What the heck? <laughs> Sid's legacy is what they're calling it now. Oh. You know, I thought she probably wanted, like, a moment to herself to see him. You know? something for the lost not even the phoenix can bring people back from the dead life has a beginning and an end so we must live while we have the chance and not as slaves to the crystals Free men. May we join you? Oh, hey, Goots. And Karen? <laughs> Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. I know, it's your boy. <laughs> Look at all that stuff he's got. I really do miss Sid, man. He, he just had... It wasn't the most scenic view back then. But it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Oh? Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. 
assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, silly. There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklab markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goot. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Get mm -mm. off me poor fingers. <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Mm-mm. Oh, it's splitting off. You see that, Sid? Your protege's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Well, that was a lovely little cutscene there. Okay, so it's not gonna let me go anywhere else, huh? <laughs> All right, that's fine. Let's go. Uh, Latency's Cliff, Eastern Dalmachia, a narrow pass uh, through otherwise impassable mountains, thought to have been torn from rock by very gods themselves. Okay. Goots is goofy. <laughs> he was way too excited in that cutscene. Perfection. <laughs> Onward. Come. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. The new boy. What his healing capabilities got better? Everyone, let's get on choc chocobos. Ah, there she is, looking good. That's a cute little chocobo. Oh. Okay, so we can't go through there, maybe? Hold on, let me see. Okay, yeah, obviously we couldn't go through there. All right. I want to see something. Okay, yes, we can. All right, cool. Oh, there's a side quest here, too. Interesting. Um, Where is it at? It's here. Let's get to the next place first, and then we'll end up doing it. Ready go? I'm pretty sure they probably unlocked a few hunts for us to do, but I'm uh, wait until we this used get to, to be it. a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Leg Eater? Is that what they've been called? I don't know if I noticed that's what they've been called this whole time. It's definitely my fault if I haven't noticed it. Okay. 
I was kind of hoping that Gav was going to be with us, really. So what do you think? That we'd be lucky to make it out alive. Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Yes. Well, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. But I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true. We've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. You know, I like quests like these. It's so easy that it's just right there. Why not? I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that. We'll take care of the rest. Okay. Just sounds like easy ads to take care of. You'll be doing Botclad a favor if you can clear out that pass. Why? I dare say. They'll give you a hero's welcome. And she just phased Come into on. existence. Fuck. All right. I'm sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. I didn't get to finish this dialogue, so my bad. Oh, big guy. Wasn't fast enough. Decent, decent. if he didn't do this quest really if you think about it because if you are going to be coming over here dealing with it you're going to be seeing them I 
think everyone else took care of everybody else, and I was just doing the big guy, as usual. Okay. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? Watch there not be a cart. And we just did that because they were trying to rob us. I mean, it's just what Clive said. He feels like he doesn't trust them, so... Maybe they were trying to rob us. There's no treasure around here, really? Okay. Oh, there was a cart. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's well, no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Right. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna end it right there? Okay. Yeah, he's right. You don't want to upset someone that already helped you before. Well, no ambush. Really? Look at them all. I thought the bastards would have eaten the lot by now. But we won't be going hungry, that's for sure. You've had your reward and you're not getting any more. Now piss off. Do you think that they're also bandits as well? And they're just trying to get rid of the bigger horde so that I they don't have to deal with them? Lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Wow. This is actually it continues on the other side. Pretty place. Yeah, I would definitely think that uh, they were just wanting someone to get rid of them so that they didn't have to deal with it. Got nothing over here. All right, I got to explore all my options. Like anything down there besides just the floor. Oh, oh, it's this beautiful view. Oh, that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Final sin. So this is a Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here. At these falls. Wow. Or so the legend goes. 
If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Meanwhile, the seat of the Imperial Court. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Saying the boy? Wait. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? 
Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your Emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. He talks. I'm hungry, father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? No, don't need it there. Oh, no. <laughs> it was getting good. Hmm. Interesting. The mystery grows. Our markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Steps of the Forgotten. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, Dion in pure blood. What? He has the king of all dragons within him. It's like one of the most powerful summons in all time. And I really have a feeling that... I think Dion might end up... going against his father. And I think Olivier... The kid. It's interesting. The Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. <laughs> <laughs> Olivier is interesting. They said that he has Gregor's. Like, he's their little god being or whatever. I'm trying to piece together some theories and all that. Excuse me? No way, I haven't forgot about doing the hunts too. I'll get around to doing them. Nice 
worse. Okay. That was pretty fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun right there. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, let me look at the map real quick. Where are we? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So it was better for me to just do those hunts earlier. I thought we might end up going in that direction with the story, but eh, I guess not. That's okay. More refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. You deserve a rest. Keep going. The Crystalline Dominion is our only chance. I know, but the checkpoint. Hmm. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. No traders pass. No passage. for hire the best service at the best price others will carry off your fortune I'll just carry your goods hurry man I must leave for the Dominion post haste I am hurrying one. bloody crews and caravans scooping up all the best customers leave some for the rest of us dude you gotta be in a better location Sorry, I seen this area over here, so I was like, it's gotta be goods. Or cash and roll. Hey. Fangs. Oh, what's up here? Yeah. Crystal. This looks like a restaurant. <sighs> if our new arrivals had brought any coin with them, we'd be rich. Nothing else. Oh, what's this? The Will and Crescent invites all traders and travelers weary of foot, harsh at throat and light of belly, to rest a while within our premises, no bearers and snung. Hmm. Well, nothing to worry about then. I hear the brothers found another victim. Can you believe it? I believe it, all right. What's that? The third this month. The brothers, there was the people we just helped. Were we not supposed to help them? Oh, snap. Ah, a soldier like yourself could do with hearing this. If ever you see a couple of brothers up in Leighton's cleft, you just pass them right on by. And why is that? Because they're duplicitous bastards who make cutthroats and footpads look like upstanding citizens by comparison. What they do is befriend a passing merchant, someone new to the area, and steer them straight into the arms of bandits. The merchant dead and his murderers busy bickering over the poor bastard's wares the brothers set to sweet talking some other unsuspecting fool, a warrior. Now, the brave soul charges into the footpad's den thinking he's doing the realm a favor, and when he's done, the brothers sweep in and loot the bandits and dead merchant both. Yeah, there's a lazy sort of cunning to it, I suppose. You'd think they'd run out of bandits eventually. So close to Bokland? Not bloody likely. <laughs> I suppose you're right. 
Anyway, if you run into them, you steer clear. Or better yet, give them a damn good hiding. <sighs> I really wish I had. Right. Thanks for the warning. Wow. I wonder if you would have got that if you didn't do their quest now. See, that's... That's the good reason why I love exploring around places. Who would have missed that? I'm, I'm sure there's probably tons of people who probably missed that. Didn't even get any of that dialogue. I wish to engage the Crimson Caravan services. Where's the proprietress? She's otherwise engaged at present, my lord. Come back later. But yeah, this is a good reason why I do these things. Well met. Enhancer? It's weaker. Betrayal Orchestra theme? Uh, I don't know what that song is, but I got plenty of money, so why not? Many thanks. One more. You've a discerning eye. Cool. You're welcome anytime. Well, thank you. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. And nasty. Let me, my lord. You won't regret it. Mm -mm. Uh, I didn't check it out over here. It must be transported to the Dominion without delay. No matter the cost. Certainly. Haha! -ha. I knew it. Treasure chest can't hide from me. As I probably missed like six of them, maybe. Beautiful. Just beautiful, I tell you. You just gotta love so much of what's happening around here. The, the environments are so good. What do you think, girl? Is it time we took to the Crystal Road ourselves? So is the road shiny? It's a vibe I'm getting. Peaches and pears. Beets and beans. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. Oh, yeah, I'm more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Well, can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? Where are you, Goots? Here somewhere. Not hard to find him. Tight-fisted swipe. Probably the biggest guy here. With me to the Dominion, life will be different there. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Oh, there he is. He's just been chilling here. Oh, Goots, there you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. 
Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Oh and no. A man bumped into me and. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Oh, we were just there. Got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Go to the Crimson Caravans and ask for the owner. It's the place with the red chocobo on the sign. Big red chocobo. <laughs> Big red chocobo. Let's keep okay. an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other are not purses. Snacks to the checkbook. Poor boy done got robbed. Didn't even know it. If you're looking for the Crimson Caravans, head out of the canyon and take the first road to your right. But if it's a bowl you're after. No. People only ever want directions. Sorry. I don't even know what you're selling. Don't even know. Out of my sight, wretch. I've no use for a branded who can't even fill my cup. <laughs> oh. Hey, man, you need to be nicer. Oh, here we go. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait! Don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. You look like Bayonetta. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. I mean, I kind of get a good idea why. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. 
Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. <laughs> But the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. Eloise? A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Is this another seal? Yep. Crimson collar. Come. Okay. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Okay, to catch a thief. All right. My player two is here. Are you talking about Goots? Is my player two? Fetch. Or maybe you. <laughs> I looked through the rest of me stuff, and no else was missing. Just me pass. But that well, was that's the good. only thing that really mattered. We can't ride the caravan without it. And it's not as if I'm getting another. It was hard enough getting this one. Oh, please, Clive, you've got to help us get it back. You me only the oar. We've formed something of a merchant's guild to get to the bottom of our pickpocketing problem. The furniture maker by the coach stop is gathering the reports. Come. Well, let's see what we could do here. Out of my sight, French. I was not expected to get another seal, but matter of fact, we read it. Not <laughs> that run animation. Uh, Crimson Collar. The seal marks his bearers as a trusted ally of uh, Eloise, uh, propertist of the Crimson Caravan. So you, so what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Okay. Did I ever read the Desert Rose? Trusted ally of the Luber Master. Okay. Jug of snake spit for the road. Snake spit. Snake spit. Looking for something in particular. Ah, and a wee collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. Mm -hmm. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Okay. I mean, peaches do sound pretty good. These merchants are making me hungry. Fresh sorted and smoked. Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. 
A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Where the kitties at? Is there a playground around here? Okay. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Well, hey, kid, you better watch your mouth. You hear me? You better watch it. Because one of these days... You might end up being in the exact same situation. There. Oh, just leave me alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, kid. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet. <laughs> Dad ant is scary. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? Mm -hmm. uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. So Clive is teaching these kids. There's a hole in my pocket once. Is that bad too? He's just a kid, it's okay. He doesn't know better. Anxious girl. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right, we're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it really. But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. Mm-hmm. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. He'll probably be by the tents. You... you won't hurt him, will you? No, no, don't worry about it. It's okay. We're not going to do anything to the poor kid. No, we're not going to do anything. <laughs> Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. But you know, you got to teach them when they're young and make them understand all the ideals about this world. You can't be going around doing stuff she like that. The refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy, I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah, wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, Where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Big Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Big Yard. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Do it again. We promise. 
I'll watch these two. You go after Honda. Okay, they all like, we promise we won't do it ever again after they got caught. Daddy! I'm hungry. That's that then. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but. Thank you. The chocobo pen's back there. I don't know if it's the same lad who stole from you, but that's where he was headed. Hmm. Uh, okay, I see him. Why does this look like a battle arena? It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> this just looks like one. I've got choice. The looks of it. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Yep, I knew it. I called it. It was going to be a battle arena. Cowards. Oh. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brute. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Okay. He was a little short tempered. <laughs> but I can get it. I get it. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balkland their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Look at that money. What you got to say? Where is it? <laughs> We're gonna get it, Goose. We're gonna get it. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Honza. Where are they camped? Don't worry. 
They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's hmm. Cleft, then? Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. Okay. It looked like they were about to turn into Leighton's Cleft before they spotted me. You can do it, Clive! No, oh, thanks, Goots. I appreciate it. Alright, well, let's go, then. I think I'm going to do that hunt once we get to a point where it feels a little bit more open. Right now, I don't want to interrupt the story progression and all that. So where is this place? Okay, all the way in the open area, I see. Plus, I think it would be fine. I think as far as like weapons and stuff goes, I feel pretty well prepared and all that. And maybe whenever we go do that fight, we'll be a little bit more stronger. I see a goodie over here. Let me grab that and then we'll go talk to the... Okay, well, we're going to go talk to him anyways. Oh, hey, Theo's with us too. Sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. Hmm. Let's do this instead. Money. I doubt these were the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Does he have a unique little animation with us? Uh, he does, as a guest character. I want to see it. Theodore! That's kind of cute. I like it. Gotta see those little uh, pixel characters. There's one fine chocobo, ain't it? Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. I didn't have to go too far. Kill, but whatever. Oh, nice one, Jill. I saw the other enemy while I was fighting that one, and I was like, oh, well, we'll get him in a second, but Jill just casted Blizzard on him, and he was done. Got a big boy. Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural ball ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. They're gonna hurt the kids, anyways. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Whoa, okay. Alright, well, I'll take care of this guy then. Lucky hit. Ah, untouchable. Oh, another one. <laughs> Oh, shoot. That was bad. <laughs> I was getting two trophies there and got excited. was gushing like a gusher. That was fun. Two lovely trophies in that one fight with Titan, I believe it was. <laughs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' purses. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? Of course. Be glad to. His pass will be in here somewhere. It might take a while to find it, though. You should go back to Boglad and give my sister the good news. Goose was a really good guest party member. I mean, he seemed a little aggressive at first, but after a while, you know, he's not too bad of a guy. He's just trying to do his job, looking after the people around here. Plus, I think the name Theo or Theodore or Theodore is such a good name. I don't know. I like these names. Just like everyone who hates on Clive. I, I like the name Clive. I think that's a good name. Got just some haters. No treasure down there. Okay. No need to ride from here. There are no crystals here. Daddy! I'm hungry. That's that, then. <laughs> the dishes are done. Yeah, they better be. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. 
Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is past. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? Mm. I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. El? Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly, would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. Oh. I had no idea. Interesting. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? Sure, why not? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. Crimson Compass from... Oh, another seal from it. El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Oh! Okay, now that's pretty cool. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll nine million? Try the caravan. Nine million gil? No, thank you. That's too much. Yo, what's up, Dine? What's up? How's it going, dude? Throw the dishes away and buy new ones after? <laughs> That's gonna cost you a lot of money just doing that. Traitor's Pass. The raised letters upon this square of burnish uh, bronze read, By order of the Board of Delegates is the bearer of this token bestowed all rights and permissions married a dom dominion merchant. Okay. Then thunderstorm. Hmm. Right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. Gotta keep the economy growing. How are you gonna get the economy growing like that? <laughs> That's gonna make it worse. Ah, oh, Clive. I got questions. Um, what about you? Why I am what you see. The properties of the Crimson Caravans, the best known and best trusted uh, port portrait of for firm in Buckland. Uh, there are less expensive options, it's true, but customers choose us for two reasons. We're reliable and we don't ask questions. Our wagons stand ready to transport anything you might want to move discreetly. But that possessions you rather others didn't know about, or even people. It can be a risky business. But we make from moving the former. We spend on improving your our ability to transport the latter. You might even consider us competitors of the infamous Sid, the outlaw, and he and I not reach an agreement. Hmm. Interesting. This being a border town. 
Merchants often stopped in on their way to the Crystalline Dominion to carry out any final businesses in the Republic. And the locals are only too pleased to oblige by weighing their wagons down with local specialities before they leave and lightening their purses and the process. But what if a visitor doesn't have a wagon of their own? Why then it falls to the porters like ourselves to provide at one. At least it did. Uh, lately, most passers through journey to the Dominion in search of safe haven rather than a tidy profit. And who can blame them? Some things are more important than commerce, after all. Okay. That's about the children. Don't worry about Hansa and the others. He'll be safe with us, but there will be more little ones abandoned at the gates, and they too may turn to crime in their desperation to survive. Especially if the Castones or some other ill-intended uh, element decided to give them no choice in the matter. It's up to those who care to see that that doesn't happen. Okay, fair enough. Best of luck, Sid. I want to... Oh, hold on, let me... Torgal's almost maxed out on his thing. That's good to know. Uh, there was something. Oh yeah, I was looking for both passes. The seal marks his bearer and trusted ally of Eloise and Theodore, preparators of the Crimson Caravans. We at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we'll move anything that needs moving, but that goods uh, to market or bearers away it. Eloise. Okay. Raiders pass. Yeah, we finally got that back. I want to know, do I have more points for it? Okay, we got a lot of points, actually. So I need to use some of them. I can master that. I want to... But that's really good for... If you got the other ability. Hmm. Trying to make a decision. I mean, I guess I'm always using this, and it's a good counter. But I don't really need to master it right now, because I don't know if I want to throw it on anything else currently yet. Upgrade. I did master this, so that could be a good AOE. Uh, what about any of these? I'm not using any of those either as much. 2,000. What does it do if I master it if it gives me 2,000? Adds a third limit. Okay. Now, I need to power this up. What does it do if I upgrade it? Increase the number of hits? Yeah. Give me that. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to save up for it. I'm going to save up for it. Yeah, I don't ever use any of those no more. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to save up for that big one. Yeah, everything's going really well over here. Just... Progressing through the story, I think since we just got more side quests and stuff, I might end up going to go do those hunts that I didn't do earlier. Anything I can do for you? Ask about Theodore, ask about... Okay, yeah. If my sister is the smiling face of the Crimson Caravan, then I am the Squall. Uh, Scow. And she brings in the customers, I scare off those who prey on and them. I wouldn't have it any other way. Eloise always did have a talent for business. I prefer working with my hands, or rather, my fists. I've kind of noticed that. And there are plenty of bandits and beasts out there to keep me All busy. The, the Crimson Caravans has a reputation to uphold, and I need to keep my skills well hound. Fair enough. <sighs> Half of the wagons that come through Bokeland nowadays are full of people fleeing for the Dominion, and half of them go no further than the gates. I'm curious about the Dominion. Whether cries soon blend in with all the others. Let us through. We can't live without magic. They'll give us new crystals and twin side. Fools, the lot of them. I, if they love magic so much, they should have tried being born a bearer. Criminals and cowards. Who bullied the desperate and the disposed into doing their bidding. And also, they could keep their own hands clean. It's no wonder it took me a while to track them down. If it hadn't been for you and Jill, I might never have found them. Still, less brought them to justice. So thank you. 
Uh, I, I offer you a share in the spoils if it didn't all belong to other people. Well, of course, I don't want to take Farewell, people's then. stuff. All right, how are we looking? Because I think some side quests just popped up. Three of them? Okay. All right, well, there's a couple of hunts that I want to do firsthand. So I think one of them should be down here. And the other one is... Dang, that means I gotta go way over there. I might wait on this one. Hmm, you know what? It might it might won't hurt. I can just ride a chocobo all the way out there until we find it. It won't take too long. We're doing side quests anyways. Okay, so I need to find an abandoned village. A village where there's no one there. And I think it said it's like yeah, Fields of Core. I wonder what this is. Is that an abandoned village, maybe? Maybe there? We'll see. I was thinking about adding some Ramu abilities on top of some of them, but... Everything that I have so far is already really useful. No need to ride from here. Why did it stop me? That's weird. These are just regular guys and it stopped me. I thought it was going to be a hunt. Where are you going? Any goodies in here? Hey guys. I don't see anything else around here. Oh, that was really odd. <laughs> so they just randomly stopped me there. So they're obviously not there. There's another one over there, so we can check that one. And over there. And a bunch of red chocobos. <laughs> okay. Wow, look how big this place is. This is beautiful. Level 30 Bighorn, Red Chocobos, some Knacks. Looking for some Hornets. Could they be here? That'll do go. If I'm here. No. Not triggering anything, so this might be something later then. Who's chasing me? That was weird? Okay. They asked for it. Ready go? Yeah, Flames of Rebirth is so good. Because it takes out so many enemies all around you. And the distance kind of matters, but not too much. Time to fight. Okay. Just check there. I don't think I can go in there, but let's see. No. It would give me a prompt if I could. And just bounce on those enemies. A curl? A wild curl? Oh, we gotta fight it. Dude, this was a boss fight. <laughs> and now it's wild. Mm, 
missed it. Come on. I was not expecting to fight one of these out in a while, but I like it and I'll take it. No, I'll save it. What level was it that we fought these? I gotta go back and watch my VOD. That was not a good time to teleport. But we're, we're doing the same thing. I'm sizing them up. Good damage. Oh, sweet. Well, that was fun. Now we got some extra little... I'll let them handle it. You got this, Jill. You got it, Torgo. Get him. Get him. No, get him. You guys got it. Finish him. Look at that teamwork. They're so good together. Yeah, I know. That, that was definitely worth the whistle. All right. Um, there's only that place that we have not checked out, but I think... No... See, I think it's at a place that we probably can't do at the current moment. Oh, nope, there it is. There it is. You deserve a rest. Soul Stingers. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. What's my flames of rebirth? That would definitely finish a lot of them off. Oh. I mean, it's supposed to be a hunt, so it wouldn't be good if they all died from Flames of Rebirth just that easily. That was easy. It was just a bunch of mobs, so it made sense how it was so easy. Peace at last. Ew, they look gross. Mm -mm. Just imagine if you went outside and seen one of these. 
At that rate, I'm probably like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. Calling it a life. <laughs> Your play date finally arrived? Really? Oh my goodness, Dine. That has been a long time. I completely forgot about it. Wow. Well, glad that it finally came. Was it well worth it? Like, are you enjoying it? Okay. I think the closest way to get there would probably be with this one. Martha's Rest. Plus, like, man, it's already been a year? Sheesh. I can't believe it's already been a year. Okay, how's my health looking? I want to make sure I, if I buy any items. I'm going to have to be really prepared for this one because uh, this one, I think it's going to be hard. Thanks very much. Stone tunic. I usually use stone tunic. But wouldn't it be great to have a yeah, tonic? It might be better to have an attack tonic. Much obliged. Just for this one particular fight. Uh, yeah, let's sign that right there. Yeah, I think with this particular fight, we're probably going to need the strength tonic. I'm going to do like a quick save once we get close to it so that if I happen to die, I don't have to go back and do all this stuff all over again. It's a lot smaller than you expected. Oh, that... Well, hopefully it's not disappointing that it's a lot smaller. Matter of fact, can I get Flames of Rebirth level 2? Let me see if I can. How much ability points I got? No. Just close. Maybe if I fight a couple enemies, I might be able to get it. Let's see. Oh, you don't want to fight? You don't want to fight me? No? Nah, man, you're way too overleveled for me. I'm just gonna eat my grass. All right, all right, fine. He didn't want to fight. I bet this Minotaur do. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, I think that's just. Oh, ah, oh, just barely. Okay. All right, I just gotta kill a couple more, and I'd be able to get a stronger one. Okay, that's gotta be enough. There we go. Give me it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. It's so much stronger now. All right, now we're ready. We're ready. Fly up, Rosia. No more holding back. It's time. I do wonder if there's any super bosses in this game, really. I know there's these hunts. Usually, whenever there's hunts, there is a super boss. 12 and 15 did it when they had the hunts. So, I'm just curious if this will have it, too. Because you guys know, I, I love the challenge. Give me the challenge of super bosses. Is it there? It is. There it is. Oh, boy. We got this. Atlas, rank S. <sighs> okay. Another relic of the fallen. Oh, it seems this one has a little more life left in it. All right then. Hmm. Come. Come 
If I get quiet, there's a good reason. I do think the Berserker Ring is kind of helping me out a little bit in this fight, though. Ah, shoot. Hmm, too early. That was not a good idea.
Yeah, the Berserker Ring is definitely making this a lot easier for me, I will have to say, but still. <laughs> Thanks. Come on. There we go. Not safe yet, so. Oh, wrong one. Oh, no. I was losing my touch. First try, baby. First try. Oh. That took a lot of focus, really. <laughs> that took a lot of focus right there for me. And I got a little nervous at the end. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, I, the dodging... I will have to say, I think the Berserker Ring helped me out a lot on the dodging there really but you know even with the berserker ring you still have to have some precision to it but man and the counters i don't even know what was going on with the counters dude i was going in with those counters oh <laughs> uh, i'm a little shaking <laughs> i gotta drink some water real quick oh gosh the cheating ring? Hey, that's not cheating if it's in the game. Mm-mm. I don't even know. I think some people use that ring in this fight, too. And still lost. So, I don't know. Plus, I, I, I'll have to say, I, it's probably with me being a higher level as well. I am definitely a little higher than most people probably did this. Um, I'm at a level 37. No, 36. And I think that boss was a level 45. It was like Jedi mode. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I, that's what I always think about when it comes to these action games, really, is I always think about what the Jedi's methods are literally um, be more defensive. And that's how I like to play. I like to be more defensive. If you see me do my Kingdom Hearts playthroughs or even Final Fantasy 15 in itself, um, I'm more defensive when it comes to my action games and all that. I like to react to the enemies and let them do their thing. That's why I'm really good at counters and dodging. Orichalcum. There was a time when Orichalcum was so abundant that it was used in everything from armor and weapons to coins and cutlery. However, when the twins only our Orichalcum mine was finally exhausted, the trading price for the Nobel Medal increased tenfold causing people to hoard what they had and ultimately making it rarer than even adamantite. Phew. Back to sleep with you. Oh, nice line. And he had an awesome design too. Very awesome design. That was fun. I want more of those. Give me more of those. Yeah, it's just what Jag said. Um, the Berserker Ring isn't really a cheat. It gives you, it gives you a little edge on your dodging. I will say that. It does give you a little edge to your dodges, but you still have to time them. You can't just go all willy-nilly. 
and press it whenever. Trust me, there's tons of times where I just pressed it and I was like, oh, it didn't activate. Is that the thing times have? Whatever helps me sleep at night. Told me she was building a ship. Mm-mm. You know it's the truth. Yeah, you tell them. I definitely do get the best of sleep as well. They're all done. I would think there's probably going to be more. Because there's still like a whole nother zone that we haven't been. And also, there is, uh... There hasn't been very many in Dalmachia. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. A light from the heavens, the goddess Gregor teaches us that the walk with the wretched is an act of greater good. If we are to accept his truth, then one could not rightly call he who follows the path of outlaw, a humble of servant. I cleric medallion. You earned this. Okay. That's it? No more? Alright, cool. Come again. I may have more for ya. Let's see what this one does. Right, it's in gear. Okay, in remote locations where trained physicers cannot be found, the duties of curing the injured of their ails all fall to the men and women of the local churches. Light crystal medallions such as these assist the clergy in their healing prayers. Increases healing potency, okay. Uh, that's potions, that's high potions. I feel like high potions are already really good. I think I'm gonna keep the potions one. Hmm. I don't know, maybe using less high potions would be good too, so. Yeah, why not? And if I need to switch to the other one, I will. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Oh, so it's just these three that we already know of. Cool. Well, I was getting ready to say, like, we got lots more to do. Think you All can right. Help? Well, hold on. Before we do go there, Vivian's got something to say. Ah, my favorite pupil. Allow me to educate you. I have the details here. Hmm. Okay. There's our lady. Owner of the Crimson Caravan, a highly esteemed uh, per oh, portage firm in Bokeland. After her younger brother, Theodore, awakened as a bearer, she helped him to flee from their family home and build a new life far from those who would see him co-signed to slavery. Which is a great sister, by the way. A porter and guard for the Crimson Caravans, the uh, portage firm that he runs with his beloved sister, Eloise, uh, many beasts and bandits have eyed his company's caravan, but to date, he has cut them all down. Theodore is a is also a bearer, but was spared the brand after awakening late and being spirited away from his family home by his sister, in an act of kindness and self-sacrifice for which he is forever grateful. Um, so I guess this is like all our little merchants or people or side people that or, or alliance was what they say over here. Well, neato burrito. Here you are. Okay, so this is us going over here. It's talking about anything new besides that. Everything else we know of. All right, good. we can move on. I got another letter from who though? All right, well, uh, let's go look at it real quick. While we're already here, we might as well look at it and then I can just do those side quests and move on with the story. I don't know where Sid gets the energy. I'm so very... I'm sorry. I, I'm boosting myself up here because I'm very proud of doing that fight on the first try. I was expecting to have a little more trouble in it. Maybe if I'd done it a little earlier. Greetings from the Crim Crimson Caravan. I trust you and your party gained the Dominion without for, uh, further events. 
Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravan more than happy to oblige. Now, we might even offer a discount on our usual rates. Eloise. Yep. Well, hopefully so. All right, let's get back on the path. Okay, who needs questing? Once again, I'm glad that they just doing three at a time. Now I just need to see about getting the word out to everyone. Need to be rich. I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire, and most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh, so you know of it then. Clearly you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sure. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. <laughs> Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the North Gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Come. Bearer of good news. There are plenty of hard-working folk here in Boklad, but my three friends deserve a tipple more than most. You let them know there's a cup of fine wine waiting for them when they're ready. Come. So we got some some pretty good distance. One in here, two other side quests that we can pick up on the way. What you need, good sir? Would you happen to be a fighting man, perchance? That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? Nah, I think we're good. I'm My just kidding. arms are yours. Wonderful. Then come. We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your nerd wells Well, he's gonna have to wait because we still got other stuff to do. <laughs> Unless it's on the way, you know. I better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Wait, Theodore? Five. Oh, nothing else to You're say. Okay. I thought he had something new to say. He was at a different spot. Best service. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness. Sure. Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and. He offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. 
but he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life, made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Well, funny enough, we were going there too. This is why you pick him up, why you go. Whatever left poor Joseph Grey didn't leave him jaded. Kind-hearted man like him doesn't deserve to meet his end, chasing thieves. Okay, well, let me go do this real quick. It's just right here. Hurry, man. I must leave for the Dominion post. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. A 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Brek. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd Saraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. The other ones are in the direction of story progress, but we're gonna go over here and take care of this for these characters. There are no crystals here. We have to keep going. What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Grey hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? I'll get off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? Well, sorry, lady. I just wanted information. Can I say something real quick? I've been paying attention to it the whole time we've been going through this game, but I just love. Why am I not surprised? I just love the way that people's hair looks. Everyone's hair looks so nice. What's that? Sorry, I couldn't hear you through all this flame. Hmm. Oh, 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 hold on now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Get him. Over here. This one. Over here. Good one, Torgo. I had Torgo finish it out. <laughs> Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them, with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. 
but merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. Oh, okay. I do wonder about that. Are we ever going to be able to see... I'll give him that. Are we ever going to see any of these, like, still active at some point? And it'll be interesting if we got, like, a backstory or something of it, or maybe, like, some footage of what it used to be when it had a bunch of airships in the sky in this place. I don't know. I think it'll be pretty cool. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. I see a chest. Won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. So, okay. I gotta go up there. Can I... Is there a path or I gotta jump it? Or I gotta jump it. Can Clive? Okay, yeah, here we go. Did Joseph's thieves really lock their stolen wares all the way out here? Ancient sword. Oh, it's weaker. I do want to see what it looks like, though. Eh. Nothing special. Give me Excalibur back. Beautiful. Now, where's my ultimate weapon? I do wonder what the ultimate weapon looks like in this game. No spoilers, though. I think we found our thieves. They don't look happy to see me. Oh, we got a tough guy. was easy. I thought he would have his little ads come out and help him out, but guess not. Let's get this over with. Stop. Don't kill him. He's just protecting his home. Joseph. So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. Unlock Beast Tribe quest. I ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or 
Anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Jeez, look at those eyes. After that, the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and... Don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Them eyes, though. So where's my beast tribe quest? I'd always thought of goblins as mindless savages. But if I'm honest, I like them better than half the men I've served with. I mean, I... <laughs> I wouldn't want dailies, like Final Fantasy XIV's dailies to be in this game. That'll be something else. No treasure. Nope. And plus, why would I want to do the Beast Tribe in this game if I haven't done it in 14 as much? That's playing favorites. Oh, you can fly with the chocobo? Or mostly gliding, but still, at the same time, it's kind of the same. Really? Again, dude? Not again. <laughs> I know, Clive. How about all of them? Flames of Rebirth is a little OP, I have to say. <laughs> Just starting out with that one, if you have a big mob, it's over. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, a final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward. History awaits. <laughs> okay. He's gonna get in danger one more time. Or, I don't know, maybe the third time's a charm. I mean, even Clive, Clive is kind of getting tired of it. Clive has nothing better to do. <laughs> oh, it's not like he's trying to save the world in a sense. <laughs> I 
Oh, this place. This is actually... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. He's really got himself into trouble this time. Okay, calm yourself down, buddy. Alright, do one of those things again. Like the AOE or something? Yeah. I just realized I didn't even use my limit break in that last hunt too. I was doing really good on damage there. Easy. Yeah, that last one, I thought I was doing some pretty good damage there, but oh well. Still in one piece. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Please. <laughs> oh, and it teleported us there. Nice. This guy keeps running off somewhere. <laughs> And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Preach. I guess that makes sense why he was like, oh, are you a fighter? Yeah. Hmm. Truly. Knowledge is a gift all the greater when shared. Thank you once again. No problem. All right, where's the other one? Turn this one into. 
Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. You know, I didn't read that last one with the item that's supposed to help us out. So I was like, mm, do I need to read any of those? I mean, most cases, those little accessory items are saying the same thing or nothing really groundbreaking in terms of lore. So that's why I haven't been reading much of them. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Got something for you. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. Really? My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. Hmm. How? I've been keeping a cut of something special by for just such an occasion. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Oh, it's one of these guys. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a Gotan. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market will be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. <laughs> He's ready for it now. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. I mean, you're at work right now, so you... like a good drink to drown your sorrows. No one knows sorrow like us gate guards. He's trying to get drunk at work. Not us. Oh, sorry, Joe. Have you got a traders pass? No. Then fuck off. <laughs> sure, buddy. All right, well, let's go ahead and finish off this last one so we can move on with the story. We still got some time. Jug of snake spit for the road? Jug of snake spit on the road? I wonder what that is even is. Like, what is that? If someone offered you snake spit, would you drink it? your friends they'll be along soon that's fantastic news thank you kindly it's been a while since we all sat down together and the way i see it that wine is as much theirs as it is my own how so getting extra i wouldn't be serving anything but slops without oldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me and then there's milan who always sends customers my way and bollock an even-handed keeper of the peace if ever there was one those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. 
And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A huh? Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows. But it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. <laughs> the woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken. Cool. All right, Jackie, have yourself a good night. Appreciate you for stopping by, man. All right. All done. Are they still here having their drinks? For a handful of coins of that. Ah, you were right to stay your bastard captain's hand. More bloodshed is the last thing we need in these dark days. Hmm. I owe these remarkable gentlemen more than a few poultry cups of wine. Even if it is the finest wine in all of Velisphere. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a cup or five of good wine to wash away the aches of the road. I never really had wine before, so I don't know if it's very tasty or not. I hear so many people talk about it, but also, in these times, they drink a lot of bread and wine. And, um, you wonder why, well, you don't wonder, you know why they didn't live so long way back then. Come on, come on! Jug of snake spit for the road? No, no one wants your snake spit. Juicy I'll take a pair, though. Did you hear about the Empire's black shields? Apparently, they've been going around Imperial lands stringing up bearers. <laughs> what a waste. Hmm, okay. What I really want to be is a blacksmith. You're going to do an apprenticeship or something, then? Oh, that's interesting. Goots lore? Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You <laughs> found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Uh, that's all right. I've got it back now. Uh, and all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. Okay. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Good's trying to be a blacksmith. That's interesting. Right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. M mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts. Then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defenses. 
There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be an infiltration mission. Oh. Uh oh. Goodies. I see. Oh. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sandbreck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. Beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, Your Highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience. But if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. My blood. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel. And not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler.
this woman. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. I knew I liked Dion for a reason. Let's take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. He's definitely becoming one of my favorite characters in here so far. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Yeah, Terence is great too. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. Nice. Okay. Oh, I feel like uh, this is going to be a big moment, isn't it? Yeah, this is totally going to be a big moment. Mmm. Can I not go anywhere else right now? Oh, I can't. I gotta keep... Okay, well, let's go then. The Crystalline Dominion, the Isles of Ark. For years, Drake's Tale has provided this relatively tiny nation with a wide-reaching influence, rarely afforded nations of the same size. Really, a lot of the characters in here I like so much of. It, it's hard to say which one is my favorite, for real. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. Mm -hmm. I'll send a Stolas then. <sighs> he has access to a Stolas? Oh, only certain people can use those.
What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. <laughs> Fire in the sky, okay. The city's on fire. I'm sure Vince is fine. We're under He'll be making for the square. Mix. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Okay. Hmm. I feel like we just hit a really big moment and it's already pretty late for me. Oh, the crystalline dominion. Ah, shoot. Maybe this is a good spot to have a cliffhanger then. All right, um, I, I want to continue, but like, obviously this is a pretty big point in the story and I can't even go in. Oh, I can't actually, I can't go anywhere else. All right, well, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to go ahead and close it here and then we can get unable to save at this time. Okay, well, we got to go then. <laughs> we got to go. Oh, do it all over again? No, I'm not doing all that. I have like a few more minutes. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. But first we find goats. Um. I just hope he's all right. Hey, now we can. Okay, cool. All right. All right. calling it right there <laughs> we can save right here so now we're gonna go for it we're gonna do it right now I, i'm gonna save this for later i i want to keep going but it's already too late for me and all that and you know i feel like we're gonna be here for a while for a while i'm surprised the game didn't give me a warning or anything really 